I have a guest today and he's an upcoming artist. Welcome to Metro TV. Thank you, thank you. I'm How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you too? I'm also good. Okay. Thanks for asking. The whole pandemic and music, yeah. how has it been? Well, um, it's not like it used to be because obviously you can't get shows. Mm -hmm. You don't go mm -hmm. to shows. Mm -hmm. But then I think it's given a period or space for mm -hmm. reflection. So you have more time to put yourself into writing, mm -hmm. to involve a lot of thought into yeah. what you write yeah. and come yeah. out with something good. So I think it's got its pros and mm -hmm. cons. Yeah, but you're adjusting. That's oh, yeah. the most important thing. Definitely. Yeah. But then we want to know a little bit about you. Who okay. is Yao? Bandits. Okay, well, um, Yao Bandit is a hip life Afrobeat artist mm -hmm. and re he reps Kaswa in Ghana. Wow. Yeah, he's been doing music professionally mm -hmm. for just over a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a little about Yao Bandit mm -hmm. and he's also versatile, as okay. you just said. Okay, yeah. okay. But then why music? I think um, there's a little bit of history to that. Mm -hmm. So can you in, share? Yeah. So back in SHS, um, at this other college, we oh. yeah, we used to have these backseat freestyles. I used to write, but I didn't bring it out. It was more like poetry. Mm -hmm. So one time back in the dorm, I decided to do a freestyle for some of my friends. And they were mm -hmm. like, wow, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. You're good. Why don't you take it seriously? Yeah. Yeah. But I still didn't think about mm -hmm. it. So... I completed school, I was waiting for my results. It came out well though. I got the school of my choice and everything. But then my elder brother spoke to me and was like, hey, we get it. it at any time you can go to school, mm -hmm. all right. But mm -hmm. then it's also good to do something professionally, mm -hmm. use your talent. Yeah. So why don't you take some time off and do music? So yeah, I was doing music alongside school. Okay, yeah. okay. which school? Doing. Um, BYU. Okay. I okay. Yeah. So generally, family has been supportive. Very supportive that I can take away from them. That's very good. Yeah. But uh, which or who inspires you to write music or want to do something like that? Well, um, I think that's subjective. First, first of all, um, I think I'm inspired by what goes on around me. Okay. First, so when I see something going on, I see people struggling or Maybe I feel like I can talk about something and make an impact. Mm -hmm. I write on it. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. there are other artists that inspire me too. Mm -hmm. So one artist that really inspires me is J. Cole and oh, okay. Dick. Okay. Because okay. of their way of writing and yeah. what they speak. Yeah. But then in Ghana, I've got Sarkodie, mm -hmm. Shatawali, obviously, mm -hmm. um, Stone Boy, and Kwesi Atta. They are all great inspirations. That's yeah. very good. But what do you, the inspiration yeah. you have drawn from them? What okay. are you seeking to also use your music to impact people? Well, um, first of all, I'm seeking to use my music to empower people. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes it's only right for us to use our personal life experiences and also other things that go on around us, the environment to mm -hmm. speak to people, to bring change yeah. to them, yeah. to put them in a kind of mindset where they believe that, oh, we can do more. Mm -hmm. We can do more mm -hmm. for them to be empowered to say that, okay, maybe because of what this artist said, let's get up, let's do this. It is possible. Mm -hmm. We can, mm -hmm. you know. So that's what I seek to do, to bring people to the realization of their strengths okay. and what they can okay. do. But since you started, have you encountered any challenges? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, it's not easy coming up. Yeah. I mean... Not easy at all. Getting media houses mm -hmm. or radio mm -hmm. stations playing your music. Yeah. Getting people to jump onto your songs when mm -hmm. you release them mm -hmm. and whatnot. It's not easy at all. But I think everything comes with time. Yeah. You know, it takes time. There's a story about the two bamboo trees. Mm -hmm. um, there's one that grows within the shortest period of time. And there's another one you keep on watering. That takes time. Over and over again. Yeah. But when that one grows, it's stronger and it takes that years. That blooms faster than their first one. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I believe. So, it's been difficult, but I believe with time, you get, we'll there. get there. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Um, let's talk about your latest, yeah. Lelo. Yeah, Lelo. What is it about? So, um, basically, Lelo is talking about keeping calm in every situation, okay. whether in success or failure, whether in um, riches, whether in poverty, like 
and keep working on your goals. Keep working, working hard. So the first part of the song, the chorus goes like, lay low, a bear heavy. So it's telling you that even though you are going to lay low, mm -hmm. keep on working on yeah. whatever you want and yeah. then come out with a surprise. Let people yeah. be surprised yeah. with what you come out with. Let the results speak for itself. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's very good. Before you look into your camera and introduce yeah. that song, yeah. how long does it take you to write something? Well, it depends on the moment. Okay. I've taken about five minutes to complete a song before. Oh, okay. But then... It depends on the mood. Mm. Some songs demand a lot of attention. Yeah. Demands that you like the hip hop track I yeah. played. That's like you have to uh, mm. get the lyrics, the rhyming on point. Yeah. 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 But lay low took how many minutes? Yeah, lay low took a while. It took a while because you know, apart from just writing, mm -hmm. I love reading. Okay. So I like putting in the things that I read okay. into music. Yeah. Let letting people know okay. about certain things. So lay low took about let me see. Three days. Wow. Yeah, three wow. days. That's yeah. very good. Is that bandana sort of your brand? Yeah. So you hear the name band. Yeah, oh, band okay. Yeah. Oh, but okay. in actual meaning, it means Yao Band in the town. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's the meaning of that's your... That's the meaning of Yao Oh, band. okay. Yeah. That's cool. What should Ghanaians expect from you? Well, um, I think Ghanaians should expect good music. Mm -hmm. First of all, they should expect a lot. I mean... They should expect music that will touch their souls, music that will bring them to, a lo will bring them a lot of mm -hmm, knowledge. Mm -hmm. and then they should expect greatness okay. and the Grammy. Wow, yeah. wow! In the next five, five years. Oh, okay, that's okay. good. What message do you have for your fans or anyone watching you for the first time today? So yeah, um, if you don't know me, as I said, I'm your bandit. Check me out on IG. Yeah, Bandit, Y-A-W-B-A-N-D underscore I-T-T. -T. Same on Facebook and all platforms on Twitter. So check me on there. And also, delve into my music. I'm sure you guys will love it. Yeah. Check me out on SoundCloud, Audio Mac, Apple, iTunes, sorry, and all those platforms. Yeah, yeah. thank you very, very You're much welcome. for coming through. We really, really appreciate that.